Hello, and welcome to Scrum Master Certification Course. In this module, we will discuss the methods used in Agile. A number of Agile methodologies originated and gained traction in the 1990s and the early 2000s. While the various Agile methods differ in a variety of aspects, their commonality stems from their adherence to the Agile Manifesto. Let's briefly discuss some of the important Agile methods. The first method that we will discuss is Lean Kanban Development. The Lean concept optimizes an organization's system to produce valuable results based on its resources, needs, and alternatives, while reducing waste. Kanban literally means a signboard, and it espouses the use of visual aids to assist and track production. Lean Kanban integrates the use of the visualization methods as prescribed by Kanban along with the principles of Lean, creating a visual incremental evolutionary process management system. The next is extreme programming. XP makes it possible to keep the cost of changing software from rising radically with time. The key attributes of XP include incremental development, flexibility scheduling, automated test codes, verbal communication, ever-evolving design, close collaboration, and tying in the long-term and short-term drives of all those involved. XP values communication, feedback, simplicity, and courage. The different roles in the XP approach include the customer, the developer, the tracker, and the coach. XP prescribes various coding, developer, and business practices, events and artifacts to achieve effective and efficient development. XP has been extensively adopted due to its well-defined engineering practices. The third method is crystal methods. Crystal methods are intended to be people-centric, lightweight, and easy to adapt. Because people are primary, the developmental processes and tools are not fixed, rather are adjusted to the requirements and the characteristics of the project. The color spectrum is used to decide on the variant for a project. Factors such as comfort, discretionary money, essential money, and life play a vital role in determining the weight of the methodology, which is represented in various colors of spectrum. The crystal family is divided into crystal clear, crystal yellow, crystal orange, crystal orange web, crystal red, crystal maroon, crystal diamond, and crystal sapphire. All crystal methods have four roles, the executive sponsor, the lead designer, developers, and experienced users. Crystal methods recommend various strategies and techniques to achieve agility. A crystal project cycle consists of chartering, delivering cycle, and wrap-up. The fourth method is Dynamic Systems Development Methods. DSDM sets quality and effort in terms of cost and time at the outset and adjusts the project deliverables to meet the set criteria by prioritizing the deliverables into musts, shoulds, coulds, and won't-haves, or Moscow. DSDM is a system-oriented method with six distinct phases, pre-project phase, the feasibility phase, exploration and engineering phase, deployment phase, and benefit assessment phase. The fifth method is feature-driven development. FDD was devised by Jeff DeLuca in 1997 and operates on the principle of completing a project by breaking it down into small, client-valued functions that can be delivered in less than two weeks' time. FDD has two core principles. Software development is a human activity, and software development is a client-valued functionality. FDD defines six major roles. Project manager, chief architect, development manager, chief programmers, class owners, and domain experts, in addition to a number of supporting roles. The FDD process is iterative and consists of developing an overall model, building a feature list before planning, designing and building by feature. The sixth method is test-driven development. Test-driven development is a software development method that involves writing automated test code first, and developing the least amount of code necessary to pass that test later. 
The entire project is broken down into small, client-valued features that need to be developed in the shortest possible development cycle. Based on client's requirements and specifications, tests are written. The tests designed in the above stage are used to design and write the product code. TDD can be categorized into the following two levels. A TDD, acceptance TDD, requiring a distinct acceptance test, and D TDD, developer TDD, entails writing a single developer test. TDD has become popular because of the numerous advantages it offers, like rapid and reliable results, constant feedback, and reduced debugging time. The seventh method is adaptive software development. Adaptive software development grew out of rapid application development work by Jim Highsmith and Sam Bayer. The highlights of ASD are constant adaptation of processes to work at hand, provision of solutions to problems surfacing in large projects, and iterative, incremental development with continuous prototyping. Being a risk-driven and change-tolerant development approach, ASD believes a plan cannot admit uncertainties and risks, as these two indicate a flawed and failed plan. ASD is feature-based and target-driven. The first phase of development in ASD is speculation, as opposed to planning in the other Agile methodologies, followed by collaborate and lean phases. The eighth method is Agile Unified Process. AUP is a simplified version of IBM's Rational Unified Process and was developed by Scott Ambler. AUP combines industry-tried and tested Agile techniques, such as test-driven development, Agile modeling, and database refactoring to deliver working product of the best quality. AUP models its processes and techniques on the values of simplicity, agility, customizability, self-organization, independence of tools, and focus on high-value activities. The AUP principles and values are put into action in phases, inception, elaboration, construction, and transition. And the last Agile method that we will discuss is domain-driven development. Domain-driven design is an Agile development approach meant for handling complex designs along with evolving the overall project system. Domain can be defined as an area of activity to which the user applies a program or functionality. Many such areas are batched, and a model is designed, which is a system of abstractions that can be used to design the overall project and solve the problems related to the batch domains. The core values of DDD include domain-oriented, model-driven design, ubiquitous language, and bounded context. In design-driven development, ubiquitous language is established and the domain is modeled. Then design, development, and testing follow, refining and refactoring of the domain model till it is satisfactory. This brings us to the end of the module on Agile Methods. Thank you for learning with us.